And welcome back, guys. We're going to be playing some more Dying Light 2 campaign, which is Peacekeeper mode. And we're going to be doing the quest called The Shoes. Anyways, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. And let's go ahead and take a look here. We got to fly over here. Alrighty, let's do this. I, um, I have to tell you something. What? I didn't give the tower to Frank. Yeah, I know. You need to find your sister, right? You did what you did. I just want to get my sneakers back. Right. First things first. Back? Were they stolen? The one? If you knew where your things were, why haven't you gone back to get them before now? See that opening? Apartment 216. Go look for a large red box with gold trim. That's where I stored my shoes. Aren't you coming with me? You're why my shoes are ruined. You get me new ones. Go inside, take the shoes, and leave. And don't touch anything else. Got it? I'm fine, chicken. I'm inside. Don't touch anything. Just get those shoes. What's in here that's got you so spooked? Almost, almost happy. <laughs> Pretty cozy nest. Why'd you ditch it for that den at the fisheye? Because that den is my home. I took all I needed with me. Except for the shoes, that is.
84.99. Let's switch that out. We gotta definitely do some selling of stuff soon. Alrighty. Ooh, alcohol. Vintage 2025. Small fortune in these bottles. Luan, I found your shoes. Great. Now get the fuck out of there. Oh, but it's quite the love nest with the wine and the view and the music. I mean, I'm starting to see a whole new Luan here. And you know what? I don't blame this guy, whoever he was, for liking her. Fuck you, Aiden. But I, I didn't... Luan, wait. What? Come on. Oh, you bastard. Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks, but bears it out, even to the edge of doom. Oh, shit, Luan! That's why you always mind your business. Are you there? Come on. I, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Just meet me on my rooftop. Get there and wait for me. You can give me the shoes and then fuck off. It figures you'd end up at the place you go when you're pissed off. Well, of course she went away over there. And that's not an easy place to get to either. Hope I have enough stamina. <laughs> oh no, this is looking bad. <laughs> Ow. Climb the building. Not catch you at all. Oh. All right. I'm not here. what I had in mind, but okay. It's like a...
got your sneakers. You should also have this. I didn't realize you and Hakon had been together. Why do you think he's so high on my hit list? Yeah, that makes sense. Just because someone reads poetry doesn't mean they don't deserve to die. Did you guys break up because he abandoned Frank, or did he abandon Frank because you broke up? <sighs> There's really no point in analyzing that now, Aiden. Whatever happened, it was a mistake, okay? I should have never been so naive. That's why I didn't want you snooping around. For fuck's sake, you could have just respected that. I'm sorry. Forget we went there. Just leave me alone. What's going on? You just don't give up, do you? <laughs> you should know that by now. You should know I fucking hate whimpering. Saying how you feel isn't whimpering. Fine. Stick around if you have to, but don't interrupt me. I'm busy. You getting drunk? No, you dork. Looking at the stars. I can see the Big Dipper. Hmm, aren't you brilliant? Except that's not the Big Dipper. Oh, whoops. <laughs> it was worth a try, though. You know any other constellations? Yeah. Frank taught me a lot about the night sky back in the day. We were building the fisheye, and I'd climb the scaffolding all the way up to the roof. Frank would come up to tell me it's too cold, too late, and whatnot. But he always ended up telling stories for hours and hours. And I love to listen. The stars are so clear and seem close enough. You could grab them by the balls. <laughs> Frank's way of putting it. Nice, huh? What about you, Aiden? And what about me? Do pilgrims get their hearts broken? Forget it. Wow. The shy type. Looks like your constellation is Cygnus. She whatness? <laughs> there. Look. The swan. When I stargaze, I always find the swan first. You're making all this up to impress me. Maybe. Maybe not. Are you impressed? <laughs> Pretty much. Let's, uh, let's get some sleep. Aiden, if I see Hakon, I'm gonna kill him. Simple as that. Don't try to stop me. It's fine. But you know revenge doesn't make you feel better. This isn't for me. It's for Frank. I will avenge everyone who died that night. A lot of stars winked out forever. Hakon talks big. But when it came down to it, he bailed on his friends and they died. He showed his real face. Fucking coward. You can't turn back the clock. True. <laughs> but I can stop his fucking clock. And I fucking will. Yeah. Good night, Aiden. I'm here, yeah. The one? Well, I'm glad you're alive. That was one hell of a ride in that building. And then, you just disappeared. We need to talk. It's about the GRE database you're looking for. 
I finally found something concrete. Wait for you on the ship. Thanks, Jack. I'll meet you in your quarters as soon as I can. Luan? Luan, you there? Hmm. <laughs> Luan, come on, you hear me? Just let me know you're okay. Until today, I thought our chances against the right here. No! I don't bite, shop away! What you got for me? Ah, no feathers, you bastard. <laughs> Alright, grappling hook could use an upgrade. Decisions, decisions. I could upgrade the Molly because we do need the Molly to be upgraded. However, thinking weapons mods. Only the peacekeepers with guaranteed security. That's pretty impressive. Who doesn't need one of those? Having the ability to make those wouldn't be a bad thing either. Finally, a smart shopper. Okay, I'll definitely Tell your friends to stop here. Luan, you there? Luan, hello. Boring today. Hey, I'm getting Keep really on. worried. Don't you can stop that. I'm fine. Luan? Hey. What's going on? Where are you? Hey. Luan? Hey. Luan? Hey. Oh, shit. Your wish is my command. Let's sell stuff. Yay! Gimme, right. gimme! Uh,
Thanks for selling me your spare. 89. X marks the spot. Oh, that was on your radar, huh? What a smart buy. Ain't no barnacles on your wallet. Been casting for one of those. Could use that for ballast, if nothing else. Just the treasure I was searching for. It ain't no dead man's chest, but I'll take it. About time I ran across one of these. As you can tell, I haven't uh, infin hmm. emptied Glad the inventory. Glad you offered me well. that. I figured we're right here. I might as well. I'll be on her water on this purchase, but I want it. So we can play those. I'm selling more mollies, but eh. Right, 89. Let's see here, 71. Just gotta replace this because it's gonna break yep, soon. Yeah, I'll take that. So 71, 70, 69. That's what I call now. some nice booty. So I know. Thanks for So 89, 81. That can go probably too. So put this here. That's gonna be like that. Definitely should check this out soon. There's no crit socket. Chopping okay. here, Captain. My captain. Oh, see my head to value. And I gotta catch you next time. Could just gone outside, grab it, <laughs> down here, and then can buy stuff new ones. Yeah, I heard. Now that was work. Step on up, pal. You name it, it's yours. Grip. Remember. Right. 
Rip socket. You're gonna be happy you step up. Imagine that. Eight thousand. <laughs> you know your way around this stuff. Oh man, what you can do with that. You want to stock up on those? Just so it will stop going, hey, you haven't put anything here yet. It's getting kind of annoying. Alrighty, I think we're good. BK's got nothing on supply. Here he comes, the hero. I'm guessing your message is coming through loud and clear now. <laughs> I owe you, Aiden, I really do. Our words can now reach everyone. I don't know how to thank you. I sure you do. It's easy. The GRE doctor. <laughs> of course. Always to the point, eh? Like a crossbow bolt. Ah, oh, too bad Row and the boys would never see what they've achieved. Still, the Enlightenment campaign is working. And can you tell me the single most important element of an Enlightenment campaign? And the message? The message? Message is part of its success. Only a part? What matters is... Is... What already? The range. The range? What's the point of good news if no one can hear it? <laughs> You're telling me that not enough people can hear your beautiful news. And that's why I need your help one more time, Aiden. Wait, what? Now, I delivered on my part of our bargain. Now it's your turn. Turns out it's harder than I expected. Matt, I... no. You know how hard it was out there? I know. We all appreciate your efforts, but the doctor I told you about is hiding. Which is why you were looking in the first place, right? To find him. Matt, I... I flipped the switch on your entire propaganda... Oh, sorry, enlightenment campaign, and you can't even find one person for me? We thought we had a lead two days ago, but it was a dead end. Jack, I don't give a shit. This is taking too long. You promised. I know, son. And I intend to keep that promise. We'll send out information via our broadcast. We'll ask everyone. Everyone. I will personally ask anyone who comes to join us about that doctor. All I'm asking you is, help me boost the signal range so it reaches more people. And the search will be easier. Fuck, Matt. This is not how it was supposed to go. I know. I know, son. But our goals are aligned here, as you can see. Just... Just tell me what to do. Thank you, Aiden. Here are the antenna positions. We have to adjust them to our frequency. After this, no more favors, Jack. The first antenna is on top of the tallest office building in the Wolf, near the park just south of Marsh End Lane. Good luck. Chances against the renegades were pretty good. But now, I heard about the patients. How's it going, Aiden? 
Just give me some time. I know you're worried. I was a bit like you when I joined the army, you know. Good, noble, with a purpose. I believed I could change the world. But the world kept changing. As did its institutions. Yeah. Maybe we could finally change it. For the better. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. <coughs> Let me know when you spot the first antenna. <laughs> down in the streets. Slow down, Frank. What do you mean, again? Luan has her kill list. She's obsessed with it. Her kill list will only kill her, I'm telling you, ain't it? You really need to pull yourself together, Frank. I'll let you know if I hear from Luan. <laughs> Shit.
Jack, I'm close to the first antenna. Good. You know what to do. I'm fine, Jack. <laughs> Damn it! Aiden, listen. <laughs> you don't sound good. Yeah, yeah. Just be careful. There might be renegades lurking there. Okay, the antenna is on. My man, bravo. The bush won't be expecting that. The next one's on top of a condominium at the intersection of Queen Harriet Boulevard and Downtown Avenue. You served with the butcher once. What do you think he's planning? I really don't know, Aiden. The butcher has always been a mystery to me. The good leader listens and appreciates good soldiers. Him? Never. Never. And now? Whatever he's planning, he needs to be stopped at all costs. What was that? No idea. I see fire and smoke. Renegades. They're up to something. You'd better check it out. <sighs> sure. Anyways guys, make sure you hit that like button, make sure to subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.